Welcome back to Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy. In this session, we're converting a decimal number in the tenths place into a mixed fraction. And in this conversion, we're also including a whole number part. When converting a decimal number into a mixed fraction, one of the ways that you can begin is by first writing out that decimal number into words. And our decimal number in words is 3 and 1 tenths. Now to convert a decimal number into a mixed fraction, you must first have a whole number part which would be the number in front of the decimal number in order to change it to a mixed fraction. So let's look at the words for our decimal number more carefully. In our word form, our 3 represents the whole number in our fraction. So my whole number in my mixed fraction would be 3. The AND, as we know with decimal numbers, we always use the AND. So we will replace our decimal number in this, in this part of our decimal number with an addition sign. And then we have our 1 which will represent the numerator in my fraction and my tenths that will represent my denominator. Now after we've converted our word form into a fractional form, we're going to add these two parts together which will equal to 3 and 1 tenths. Okay, so this will be my decimal number as a mixed fraction, 3 and 1 tenths. So let's look at a second example. I want you to feel free to pause the video, convert our decimal number into a mixed fraction. Now, if you need to change it to word form, that is fine. That's additional practice. If you don't, you can dive straight into changing it into your mixed fraction. Okay, so we're going to change our 7 and 3 tenths into words first, which would be 7 and 3 tenths. Remembering that our 7 represents my whole number. My 3 represents my numerator and my tenths will represent my denominator. So now let's fill in the different parts of this fraction. So we'll have 7, 3 for my numerator and my 10 for my denominator. So my mixed fraction will be 3, will be 7 and 3 tenths. So remember that your 7 represents your whole number. Your 3 will be your numerator and the tens is the denominator. Okay? So I hope this was very helpful for you in helping you be able to convert a decimal number into a mixed fraction. So remember that if you can read the number in words, you can also convert it into a mixed fraction. Because our fraction and our decimals when changing it into word form are pretty much the same thing and each of those words represent a part of our fraction and the position of our decimal number. This is Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy.